Hey everybody, and welcome to my N5 series in the OP1 field where I cover a topic in about five minutes. This is session 1.6, and today I want to start talking about, let's get like getting a little bit more into like the mix of how we want things to sound. So right now we're pretty clean. If we go into the mixer, there might be a little bit worth adjusting. Maybe we want the drums to be a little louder, the bass to be lower, um, that chord. Maybe I want it to be lower. I'm gonna push it way to the back. And maybe the string that we recorded, maybe push that back a little bit too. So I want the, in this case, I'm thinking I want the drums and the bass to really carry the sound. 35. So we kind of pushed everything back. We come to two, you can see Definitely bass is pretty loud. It looks to me like the mids and the high are roughly the same. Now I can just move the, the right knob here. It's just gonna make everything louder, which I don't know that I want that per se, but if you do, or if you wanna just adjust certain things, you can here, because you can do like just the low end, just really go crazy. I don't know if I want that. The mid will kind of bring out some of the mid there, obviously, and if you want to get some of that high end, you just do that individually. But it can be fun to kind of play around with and just figure out where you maybe want to accentuate some of your sounds. Up next, I usually like to have the, I like to actually usually end up with nitro on the master bus effect here, but if you hold shift, you can come in and get the cow going. <laughs> um, I'm not usually a big fan of delay on the end, but if I'm just using the OP1 field as an effect, it's not too bad. Mothers, sometimes not bad if you just want a little, like, a little bit of reverb. The default here, you can hear is like, way too much. Nitro is going to give you that low pass, high pass filter. Phone is just going to turn your track into a bit of a glitch. Punch can give you like kind of that compressor sound and springs more of a older style spring reverb where they actually would put springs and that's how you would get your echo kind of sounds. But let's go, let's go use nitro. So for me, I'm usually thinking like, do I want to roll off the high end a little bit? Let's make sure we get the resonance down first. I kind of like to usually roll off the high end and then I'll, where I kind of hear it start coming in, I'll then roll up the resonance just a little bit to make up for what I'm taking off and give it a little bit of a unique sound. Similarly, it can be worth coming in and deciding if you want to do the lows because you might want to take a little bit of it off the edge. And then uh, you do that with the blue knob for lows. Yellow here starts giving you if you go crazy, you can start seeing that the the uh, knobs here, or not the knobs, but like the low the low end here. That's we're removing it as basically a high pass filter. It starts moving a lot, and it's just reacting to what's there that's being played and being filtered. And sometimes you'll get like this really cool bump out of it. Depends on which uh, model you get. So, can, as I said, it can be worth playing around. And kind of seeing where it might sound good. And I usually like to A, B it, just turn it on and off and see if it's making a good difference or not. Like I'm not happy with where it's pulling the lows off right here, but I kind of like the where it's doing to the high end. Like that's just with the yellow knob, that's just too much. And given where I've got the yellow knob now and how it's kind of doing an envelope following of some of the other bands here, I actually kind of like that. Now, though, because we've lost, you can see 
it's a lot more quiet for the audio and I could turn it up here with the volume knob. This is where you're going to want to start getting into the drive. I'll we'll start getting it to hit, hit knock a little bit more. You can go crazy and go all the way up to 99, but uh, personally, I don't like the release being super high because it'll really smash your audio. Personally, I like it in the 25 to 35 range, but I kind of go where you want. You can hear that just makes it super loud going up to a drive of 99. I like to keep it a little bit more subtle myself, so sometimes like around 30. But that gets us a, what I think I'm kind of happy with for a mixed sound. I think that's good for today. Anyway guys, keep making music, keep having fun, and peace.